Back here in the nation, heavy rain warnings remained in place for parts of South Korea, and the torrential downpours turned deadly in late to Thursday. Three people died after being trapped inside a flooded underpass in the southern city of Busan. Our Lee Seung Jae with more. On Thursday, the Korea Meteorological Administration issued heavy rain warnings for different parts of the nation, including Seoul. Gyeongsangbuk-do Province and the southeastern port city of Busan. The latter was among the hardest hit regions, seeing over 80 millimeters of rain an hour, with Haeundae and Gijang pounded with over 200 millimeters overnight. The heavy rain also killed three people overnight when a 3.5 meter high underpass flooded, with three people unable to escape their vehicles. Firefighters rescued eight others and whisked them to the hospital. Rescue operations also took place in other parts of Busan, including a hotel garage and the basement of a nursing home. Busan is experiencing one of its most intense monsoon seasons, recording 650 millimeters of rain in July, second only to 2009 when the city saw 866 millimeters. Other parts of the nation, including Gyeongsangbuk-do province, have also been hit hard. Yeongdeok saw 177 millimeters, Bungyeong 157, and Gyeongju 144 millimeters. The Korea Meteorological Administration advises people living in mountainous regions to be especially careful, as the heavy downpours can cause landslides and flooding. Lee Seung Jae, Arirang News. And following up on that story, in the city of Ulsan, another part of the southeastern coast of the country, one person is still missing after being swept away late Thursday night by flood water. We'll have more on that as we learn the details.